Hello, my lovely Leos. This is your monthly reading in love and relationships for August. This is a general reading for everybody who has Leo in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for other people. Um, I already have the reading on the table, so I will uh, tell you what came out for you. Let's jump into your reading. I started off with a couple of oracle cards from the Romans Angel deck. Five messages wanted to come out for you. We have the first card, Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Then we have healing family issues. I hope you can see this. I'm still working on the lights. Um, so your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Third card out is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And then we have heart to heart conversations, Leo. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Last card out from the Romans Angel deck is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So what I feel like uh, feeling here is. Um, You're coming back into your power, Leo. Definitely, because we have now a sun in Leo. So uh, everybody, uh, all the Leos, uh, congratulations with your birthday. I wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. I'm a Leo myself also. So uh, I feel like um, all the Leos might have been through a rough period. And this, this can be a period uh, talking about months, but also years. And I feel like now we're Leo's coming back into our strength, into our power. And um, in this period, we will make the decisions we need to make in our lives to reach the goals we have in mind. So um, I feel like um, you uh, might have been uh, in a period of healing. Finding balance also with these cards on the table, but it's also time to free yourself from a certain situation. And this can be a long term commitment you've been in or a marriage uh, maybe, but it's um, definitely you need to free yourself before you can step into the new situation. So I feel like you're uh, ready to, op to be open for love again with the card flirt here also. But it might have also been that you have been um, hanging on to um, maybe ideas, thought patterns you were brought up with. Or maybe um, certain things you took. Uh, when you grew up, you saw it uh, in your own family and maybe um, you followed this pattern and now you're cutting the cords. So very karmic also, I feel. Um, I also have three cards from the Moonology deck for you. First card out is have faith in your dreams. So you might be um, having dreams. Um, maybe you can uh, write them down if you remember them um, in the morning. Uh, but this card says have faith in your dreams. So um, yeah. Then we have the card your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Or you might have this in your own chart. And then we have don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So yes, if you're 
uh, wanting to reach a better situation for yourself. Don't let pride get in your way. Or leave the situation you're in or a situation maybe you cannot get loose from. Um, leave it as it is and um, maybe when you um, are being very prideful you're holding on to a situation, a certain situation. I have five cards from the tarot for your overall energy in love and relationships for the month of August. First card out, the strength, your card, Leo. First card out for your overall energy. Then we have the second card, the Empress. That came out, Earth Energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Also, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have the Balance card, Temperance, Sagittarius energy so it might also be you're dealing with one of the earth signs or a Sagittarius with a balance card here I clarified these cards for the strength five cards came out to clarify it and it is the four of wands fire energy Leo Aries Sagittarius five of wands fire energy again we have the nine of cups Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. And we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. Sagittarius, again, I feel strong with this card. With these cards, um, clarifying the strength, I feel like um, this is definitely your energy you're in. Uh, an energy of being strong. Uh, standing in your power and I feel like this is concerning a long-term commitment or maybe a marriage you were having with somebody um, in this relationship there were a lot of conflicts uh, can be family is involved within these conflicts family friends and I feel like uh, maybe this once was for you wish fulfillment but it turned out to be a very toxic situation. Uh, you might have been dealing with somebody who was in and out of your life. Um, who was all about a passion. Um, a person who might have been uh, very egoistic. Going after what he wants whenever he wants it. Not, not um, concerning himself with your emotions. And I feel like in this relationship you might have felt alone within the relationship. This person uh, might have been very uh, emotional, uh, manipulative towards you. And uh, this person played on your emotions so um, you could have walked away from this, I feel. Or you felt... You couldn't walk away from this. But you're now coming into this strength, our strength, uh, Leo has within. So um, then I had a clarification for the Empress. First card out, Eight of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Page of Swords, Air Energy again, and we have the High Priestess, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like uh, with these cards clarifying the Empress, uh, you had, you have been in a situation you felt stuck. And it can be for months, for years even. But I feel like now with the Page of Swords and the High Priestess, There might come, uh, for some of you, there might be a communication that is coming in. This can be a communication from this person. Um, it might have been you have been in contact with this person. 
and this person is now communicating towards you and you're seeing this person for the real person he is being secretive and this may give you the insight about not dealing with this anymore and time to take action in a different uh, in a different uh, direction but this can also be with the high priestess you are now highly connected with source looking inside following your intuition keeping your emotions inside but you will have an epiphany about this whole situation about feeling uh, stuck in this situation and you will come into this empress energy and uh, it's with the empress energy it's time to take action uh, give birth to your dreams uh, um, uh, you might uh, work on a, a creative project uh, going after what what uh, you're passionate you're passionate about and this is talking about abundance and prosperity so i feel like you're now coming into your power and coming into this empress energy leo that's very beautiful then we have three cards clarifying the ten of pentacles we have first card justice libra energy then we have the queen of wands fire energy your energy leo aries sagittarius and we have the king of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius So you might be dealing with a Libra or another fire sign. I have here a lot of Sagittarius energy on the table. So you know uh, how it applies to your situation. With these three cards clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like it's over. Uh, there will be there will be coming justice in this situation for you i feel like this is karmic just uh, justice uh, you're now coming out of always staying loyal to this person a feeling of not uh, you're not able to cut the cords um, because this person played on your emotions, you were staying loyal, even though this person might have um, left you alone, ghosted you even. Um, and you're now, after all you've been through, cutting these cords and cutting everything out, uh, the situation became clear for you. Uh, you know what is important and uh, with its ten of pentacles is talking about financial security for yourself and your family you might have uh, kids with this person or one child um, and you're wanting peace and contentment in life and you want to do what's important for you in th this situation And I feel like it's also important if you're having children to set a right example towards your children. You don't want your children to make the same decisions you did in life, I feel. And your goal is now building a security for you and your family. And you're coming into this energy ready to cut cords like I said then I have three cards for the balance card and we have Leo again strength so definitely you will stand in your power this upcoming month we have the seven of swords Gemini air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius and we have the hermit Virgo energy I feel like with these cards clarifying uh, the temperance or the balance card, I feel like you're um, with the hermit, you're shining your light within. 
you're balancing this situation out, but you're also looking at everything you've been through. With the Seven of Swords, you this person um, might have been deceiving you, uh, even stealing from you, backstabbed you, being secretive, lying towards you, and you're now shining a light at this situation and also in yourself, and you're gaining back your self-worth in this situation. You're knowing what your worth is, and with the Strength card, you now realize how strong you are after overcoming all of this you have been through you're now uh, making uh, a balance you have been uh, patient patient for a long time in this situation and uh, you were with the aid of uh, source also losing uh, i feel like uh, losing your self-control and you're now taking back this control um and you might uh, have had been deceiving yourself in this situation because the swords is talking about the mind thinking overthinking things but i feel like now at this point you're gaining back your power uh, by um, feeling following your heart following your intuition being strong and um, Re realizing your worth more than this situation that this person put you through. So I feel like definitely justice will come for you. I have three cards for your person's feelings. And we have first card, the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we have the Three of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we have the Seven of Cups. So this can be for some of you, uh, this person is now in, um, maybe you're um, separated from this person. This person is being stressed, I feel. Maybe um, hanging around with the wrong people, partying a lot, maybe drinking a lot. Um, because we also have the devil here, but this can talk about addictions. So this person um, can also uh, be uh, an addiction with the Knight of Wands, maybe a sexual addiction this person is having. Partying, drinking, meeting up with different people with the Knight of Swords. This, some, this is a knight that's very easily bored. Heading in, jumping from one situation into the other situation. This person is having uh, um, options with the Seven of Cups. Not knowing which direction to go, not knowing what option to choose from. Um, I, I feel like this person doesn't know which, what he wants and he's just jumping in and out. That sort of energy, I feel. Um, it can also be, for some of you, that this person is wanna, wanting to come out, uh, wanting to come towards you very fast, because this person is feeling you're um, cutting the cords with this toxic um, energy. You're enjoying life again, meeting up with friends, uh, enjoying yourself with family, being happy. Um, this person may see this, uh, you uh, are having options, you're being out there again, standing in your power, you're shining, um, and they uh, want to head towards you because now they uh, don't want to lose you, they want to hold on, and they want the situation to stay at a, as it was, holding you on with a string, and... In the meantime, doing everything they want to do without um, thinking about your um, emotions in this. I clarified the Three of Cups and we had a first card out, the Devil again. So this is definitely talking about um, 
a codependence relationship or a, a relationship where one person is having some sort of a addiction then we have the eight of cups walking away water energy and we have the star this is a card of healing and wish fulfillment and shining a light on on a situation and i feel like this can mean um you're walking away with the eight of cups from this devilish energy from this toxic uh situation where you felt being stuck to this uh, person you're walking away from this And you're going after your wish fulfillment with this balance you're bringing into your life it might it might uh, can also be your um, seeing a, a coach or a therapist who help you find the balance putting uh, all the uh, pieces in the right place maybe you have been through a lot of dramatic situations trauma uh, and you need somebody to help you with this shining this inner light and uh, becoming emotionally stable again so I feel like this can also uh, be like the energy of this person the three of cups when this person is now in a state of uh, partying drinking hang out with the wrong people um, going in and out um, maybe having sexual addictions um, this can also be the energy of this person still with the devil walking away from a, one situation and going head and headed towards the next and this person might also be with the star be afraid you will find out because the star shines a light and here with the moon you see with the moon things are hidden so this can also be the energy of your person so apply it to your situation as it's uh, yeah you know what your situation is I don't know so I have three cards oh I also clarified the star and we had the knight of wands again we have the magician and we have the chariot. And these cards came out like this. So I feel like with this magician card, you're manifesting new into your life. And uh, you're balancing out the situation. Um, going within and head into another direction you know where you want to go you're heading your eyes on the goal and you're wanting to have victory in this situation and this can also be with the knight of one something you're very passionate about or someone you're very passionate about either way this will be your wish fulfillment after healing so i have three cards for the outcome for leo i have three cards for the outcome for leo and we have the king of pentacles the high priestess and the king of cups in the outcome for leo so leo i feel like definitely you will be having options when it comes to love this King of Pentacles can also be the person you were in a long-term uh, committed uh, relationship with. Uh, this person might come back now telling you uh, he has changed uh, in a stable uh, person. This And he wants a stable commitment, a stable relationship with you. But this can also be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn somebody who sees future with you who wants to grow with you um somebody who's very loyal and who wants to build a strong stable foundation with you maybe family children 
Then we have the High Priestess, second time. So I feel like this is uh, second time on the table. We have the High Priestess, we have the Empress. Um, Justice card here. The Star card, I feel like this is very divinely guided and also divine timing. And we have here the King of Cups. Somebody who's wanting to come forward and feels a lot of love for you, I feel. So you have a choice to make. Then I have one more card for the High Priestess. This is the last card in your reading, Leo, and the Empress came out again. So, this is so very beautiful. The Empress came out in your overall energy and the last card out, clarifying the High Priestess is the Empress again. So I feel like when you will have uh, these two options, you will follow your intuition with the High Priestess. You will set high boundaries. You always set high boundaries to, towards yourself, but you always uh, also set high boundaries towards the, person's, the person that is coming towards you, or two persons, maybe. And I feel like you're with this Empress, you're knowing what you want and you will make the right decision. You're following your intuition and uh, your heart with the Empress. And, but you're uh, not showing emotions immediately. You're not being open. You're waiting until you can make this right decision. And then you will go and you will have abundance and prosperity and this relationship will be successful and um, but you it, it will take a time before you decide to take action so uh, please if this resonates give me a like um, write me a comment I want to thank uh, also everybody who has already uh, subscribed to my channel um, English is not my first language, so uh, thank you for uh, being patient with me <laughs> when I cannot find the right words. Um, also, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can see when I post another reading. And Leos, um, this, this will be fireworks for us in the month of August. So um, I wish you a lot of success, a good health, and I see you next time. Bye-bye.